Hey guys, back again with another video for you. We have an army of Technics ready to rock and roll, as you can see, there's quite a lot of them here. You'll recognize a couple of these as well. So starting off with Howard's turntable. This is a 1210 M3D. Some people like to call these Mark 3Ds. It is in absolutely stunning condition. Stunning, stunning condition. Uh, he's already brought in another turntable actually before with me previously, if you look on my previous videos. This is his second deck from his private collection. I believe this was used purely for hi-fi use before he got it. Comes with a dust cover as well. And everything is cleaned up lovely look at his platter on this look at it everything on this is just so nice it even has the original foam for the 45 adapter and look how clean the foam is it's very rare that i get turntables in especially m3ds in this condition and it's totally original apart from a couple of age related marks that you can see on the corners that's really the worst of it so he's, he's rocking on here as well, the original Technics head shell with the weight attachment on the top and a V505 Stanton cartridge and stylus. Proper old school. I used to love them back in the day, as well as an Autophon Concord Pro S. All original and uh, some Fantasia slip mats. There is original slip mats. There's a pair of them actually on there. He did include both of them for me to give a bit of a clean, and that's the best I could get them. But Howard, if you're watching, my friend, that deck, this deck, your baby is ready to rock. Now, moving on to Gary, I believe it's Gary's turntables. I'm not going to go over these too much because you'll all be familiar with these from a previous video, but these are also ready to go. They have been wrapped in a brushed titanium 3M wrap. We've got new trims, new LEDs, new sliders, loads of goodies on these, including cables, slip mats, platters have been wrapped too. Came out extremely well. So we're ready to go. Moving forward on from them, we've then got Sid's turntable. Sid's a returning customer of mine, really lovely guy. Knows his techniques like the back of his hand. These are his two original babies that he's bought. Brand spanking new, uh, back one in 92, I believe, and one in 2000. The original receipts are even in the flight case as well. So he's only ever used these, I believe, at home. Um, they, he's really looked after them. A couple of age-related marks as expected, but genuinely really nice well looked after condition real testament to how good these turntables last and uh, come up if you look after them he has got a slight scratch on his arm as you can see it doesn't affect the performance in any way but that really is the worst of it um he's got warm white smd pop-up lamps in these so leds are, instead of instead of lamps flat panel leds new switches new audio cables but yeah just come in for a service oh and the ball bearing and spring has been removed from the slider units as well as requested so these are brand new slider units trims and the rate of rock and roll with new shaders moving on again we have got these beauties now these are a bit different these are the original uh, mark twos when i say the original we're talking late 70s early 80s models um they were in a hell of a state <laughs> these are peter's turntables i spoke to peter on the phone earlier about these and there's a reason why I have the slider units actually on top of these decks. He's got brand new sliders internally. Now, the big problem that you have with the older models, if you look at these two, so if these have been recent, one of them was recently, well, say recently, one of them was replaced. Um, I don't know who by, he did explain to me who it was by, someone else that re repairs Technics. And you can see this is a newer slider unit, whereas in comparison, this is the original from the other deck. Um, it's a completely different pin configuration. And he was complaining that his pitch control does not move properly and gets stuck. And as you can see, it does. Now, with the original style of Mark II slider units, you'll see it's almost like a sheet of rubber that sticks underneath the housing for the pitch. And unfortunately, over time, it starts to deteriorate. And if you get anything inside this to stop it from moving or you get catch it at a weird angle, the rubber will start to perish and it will fall into the unit. Or at worst, it will just bend around inside and physically stop the stem from moving and that is exactly what has happened with this slider so we've got so I had to order two brand new um, PCB housings because the other one which actually was replaced look at the state of the soldering so how this was still working I couldn't tell you I mean the tracks and everything are still intact but the LED soldering is just it's just insane look at the state of this he's actually ripped all of the heat pads off of the board so two brand new pitch slider units have been installed including pcbs wiring harnesses and potentiometers it's not a bad thing to do that it's nice to get them all refreshed so he's got two new slider units he can have these back as uh, <laughs> as a little um memento i suppose that they've been done so 
There's no new pitch trims or anything on these guys. These are literally just been serviced. He didn't, well, they kept everything as original as possible. And as you can see, they are in very nice condition. I popped a couple of new LEDs on for the actual pitch themselves, identical to the original, same output. So at least it then freshens them up. But yeah, apart from the usual age related marks that you can see, these have also came out extremely well. So the platters have both come up beautifully. The arms are looking lovely. Look how clean these arms are considering the age of them. They have came up so, so well indeed. But yeah, so we've got all of these turntables now ready to rock. They're ready to go home. And uh, well, three, three pairs of these are technically for one customer. So he's picking all three of these up. So we've got Gary, Peter and Sid's turntables are obviously these ones here. And then Howard's turntable, this beauty here. So yeah, everyone's been contacted. Howard's gonna be getting an email shortly from me. Probably would have done by the time this video has gone up. And uh, that is this slot completed and looking nice, ready to go. Thanks for watching guys. Another load of uh, beautiful Technics all resurrected and ready to rock and roll for many more years to come.